Our first story this morning is uh, from Riley and Steve Hathaway. Steve ran a construction business for 20 years and then he ran away to sea, sort of. Uh, what he does now is tell stories about the underwater world that he loves. And Riley is a 14-year-old ocean ambassador. Their passion is to create stories to inspire kids to love our ocean. In 2015, they self-published their first book. It was called Young Ocean Explorers Love Our Ocean. And they gave a copy of the book and video series to every every school in New Zealand and the Cook Islands. It was about 2,500 schools. And they're producing series two of the show with a new book to be released this month. Would you please give a very warm welcome to Riley and Steve Hathaway. Good morning. I'm obviously, I'm Steve. And I'm Riley, he's my dad. Together we've made a kids TV show called Young Ocean Explorers that's been on the popular kids TV show called Young Ocean Explorers for the past two years. We've had the most incredible adventures. We've done 20 episodes so far. We've done stories, done some stories in Australia, in the Cook Islands, and in New Zealand. I've had the time of my life going on adventures with my dad. I've had the most incredible opportunities. One of our most mind-blowing adventures was going to the Cook Islands and filming humpback whales. This was, an, this was an experience I would never forget. These whales grew up to 16 metres long and we had a huge one jump out of the water right beside our boat. So we also did a story on bronze whaler sharks. This is the jaw of one. So when I was 13, I got to swim with one, but it wasn't on purpose. We were filming some underwater shots for our Stingray episode, and one came in for a closer look. I freaked out. She really was. She jumped on my back until she realized how small it was, and then quickly got off again. Yeah, it was fine after that. <laughs> I love turtles. We've already filmed two episodes on turtles, and my love for turtles started Young Ocean Explorers. My dad, if you didn't know, is an underwater cameraman. I think he has the coolest job in the world. He gets to film <laughs> some amazing creatures. This is him filming an orca. Yeah, really, I do have some opportunities um, to film animals that I've got to pinch myself sometimes. Coming face to face with an orca like that, there are very few people in the world that get to do that kind of stuff. So I'm very fortunate, but it's well beyond what I could have ever imagined when I was a kid. This is me when I first set of flippers for Christmas. <laughs> and it's amazing the things that inspire kids. I remember being this little and there was something about the ocean that I would be dreaming about it all the time, even though I lived in central Auckland, well, not central Auckland, West Auckland, Te Aratu. I used to read stories of adventurers that would go a long way out to sea and catch marlin and tuna. And that did something to me as a kid that I absolutely loved fishing. I thought, whoa, those guys have got the luckiest life in the world. Never imagined that I'd ever get the chance to do anything like that. But I've been incredibly fortunate and I want to show you some footage now that I've shot around New Zealand. I think New Zealand's underwater world is our best keep secret, and I want to share some with, um, with you now.
hold that calf. Wasn't that footage just amazing? <laughs> I, I think I've always just taken it for granted that that's what my dad does. Like, he was actually in the water with all those animals. It's wicked. <laughs> I really do still pinch myself. You know, some of that footage I shot this year with the marlin and pilot whales. Very, very special. So this is how Young Ocean Explorers all started. Three years ago when I was in year eight, I had to do a school project involving the ocean. So I decided to make a video about turtles eating plastic and I interviewed Dan Goodoy, New Zealand's turtle expert, and Dad helped me put it together. And I asked Dan Goodoy questions that kids would want to know. Did you know that this is all the plastic found in the stomach of just one turtle that washed up on a beach in New Zealand? Now this is horrible and this is why I did my video. I wanted to show kids that if we even pick up one piece of plastic a day, it has a real big impact on the animals. For Ronnie's school project, her action plan was to show the video that I'd helped put together and take it to her year six brother's class. You know, for me as a dad, I had very low expectations of the video because I'd smashed it together pretty quick. I was um, busy at that stage filming a lot. And um, there was about 30 kids in the class, and when Riley started playing that video, I was amazed that these kids' eyes were like, just fixated at the screens. I go, whoa, this is pretty cool. And at the end of seven and a half minutes, the kids hardly made any peep at all. They were just like fixated on this thing. Riley got up the front of the class and goes, okay, now what I want to do is I want you all to sit in the circle, and I want to share one unique thing that you learned from that video. From my experiences at school, that would have died a very natural and quick death. Um, but every single kid, they shared something that was unique, that they well, thought that was unique from that video. I thought, man, that is powerful. I, had a, I literally had a light bulb moment at that, at that time. I thought, imagine if we could do more stories about the ocean that engage kids' hearts and minds like this. A couple of weeks later, I said to Riley, would you be keen on doing any other stories? Because she'd been quite quiet about the ocean up to this stage in her life. And um, she goes, yeah. And I said, what would you do? And she goes, oh, I'll do stories on stingrays, sharks, Maui's dolphins. I thought, wow, this is game on. And so we did, um, as I said, 20 episodes. I want to show you one short episode to give you a little bit of a glimpse of the kind of stories that we do. This is in Lizard Island in Australia. snorkeling to find these turtles. Just as soon as Dad gets his act together. You ready? Got a little bit more to get ready than you. <laughs> Do you think they're actually going to see them this close to the beach? I know there's definitely a lot of fish. And hopefully there's a few turtles. <laughs> After only swimming 50 metres from the beach, we came across one of these amazing creatures. It was crazy we could get this close. What an incredible animal. I honestly do feel like the luckiest dad on the planet to be able to take my daughter into that world and do these um, adventures together. Something that happened when we were filming um, series one, I had this idea come to me, I was like, I knew the impact that stories had on me when I was a kid and where it took my mind beyond what I could have ever imagined. I thought, man, wouldn't it be cool to be able to do stories you know, that linked in with our videos and get a free copy to every school in New Zealand to make them aware of this amazing um, place, this realm that we have just off our coastline. And so we went about doing that. We had a Kickstarter campaign that was really successful and also a very generous sponsor in Bobby Stafford Bush Foundation. And we did that. We, got, we released our book. We gave a free copy last year to every school in New Zealand and the Cooks. And I'm absolutely stoked with it. I'm going to play you a quick video now that was our Kickstarter, Kickstarter campaign video. And I think it really articulates quite well what we're about and what we want to achieve. OK, so we've made 10 episodes. 
episodes for TV. We've done stories on orca, dolphins, turtles, stingrays and sharks. I even got to swim with one. But that's just the beginning for young ocean explorers. These stories aren't just about me and my dad having fun, they're also there to encourage everyone to experience it for themselves. So here's where you come in. We want to share these stories with kids from all over the world so they can see how truly magnificent these creatures are. For our Kickstarter project, we want to produce a Young Ocean Explorers book and DVD so that we can get a copy of both into every school in New Zealand. This is my dad, and my passion comes from him. He's loved being in the ocean for as long as I can remember. <laughs> Hi, I'm Steve Hathaway. I've always loved being in the ocean way more than being on the land. New Zealand is world renowned for its spectacular beauty above the water, but below the surface is even more beautiful in my mind. I've been an underwater cameraman for over eight years. I'm passionately in love with what lives underneath the surface. We've been privileged to trial the Young Ocean Explorers video series in our school, and the students have responded very positively. This year in 2014, we aired a 10 part series called Young Ocean Explorers. It was education through entertainment. We are great supporters of the Hathaways and we wish them well with all their future endeavours and we hope to see them again soon. So we're passionate, young and old hey. ocean explorers trying to get the message across to others. We would love for you to partner with us to get a copy of the Young Ocean Explorer book and DVD to every school in New Zealand. That's over two and a half thousand schools. I believe we're onto something so powerful that can change the way kids view and treat the ocean. We're committed to making stories that create change and leave the world a better place. And we need your help to make it happen. There's a whale over there! Oh, oh my gosh, it is <laughs> awesome! So we got the copy into every school. This is um, one, of the lead, one of the chapters um, uh, on triple fins. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to bring to life some of the species that live underneath the ocean. In New Zealand, we're well known for our land natives, you know, the kiwis, the kakas, and the kauri trees. And people know very little about what happens underneath the surface. We wanted to bring that to life. Scientists estimate that about 80% of our native species live in the ocean. That is a staggering number. So we wanted to bring to life animals like this. Um, we also, we interviewed an expert with each one of our stories. And I love the stories of the experts in the book. What we got them to do is I wanted them to talk about what it was like when they were kids and take some of the mystery out of it for other little kids, you know, that, that are dreaming about things. Ingrid's story, she's world renowned for orca research. When she was um, five or six, she dreamed of being an orca researcher, which was unheard of when she was young, especially in the wild and especially for a female. But she's, you know, obviously she's grown a lot and um, it's an amazing story. So we wanted to share that with kids. So we got this email and it says, I didn't quite expect how enthusiastic they would be. Ali Wiles, England. This is one of the coolest emails that we've got. We've actually had lots and lots from people um, around the world, but also in New Zealand. And this particular teacher um, emailed us and said, hey, I'm only going to play a couple of your videos in my class because I thought only two of them were applicable for them. But the kids, they were year two kids, they begged her to play every single story. She said the amazing thing that happened after these kids saw these videos is the boys normally struggle with writing. I don't know if you can relate to that in New Zealand and Australia. But the boys struggled with writing, but after seeing these videos, they were writing furiously you know, about some of their adventures. And one of the things that really made me probably more wrapped than anything was they going, we want to be young ocean explorers just like Riley. And I think there's something about kids is that they love heroes. They love people that are so far beyond what they think they can do, but it actually makes them dream a lot bigger than what they are. So yeah, I've had an incredible journey with Riley. It really has been very, very special. But the thing that gets me more excited, you know, than anything, is just it's not just our adventures that are out there, but it's about inspiring hearts and minds of other kids. And I think using storytelling with kids is a very, very powerful way with this digital um, generation. So we've got a stall just out there, and we've got um, some brochures to give out. 
Yeah. give out to you guys about how Young Ocean Explorers works in the school curriculum. And we've also got a package deal on the books and DVDs today, so it'd be cool for you guys to come and say hi. <laughs> and um, connect with us on social media. And, yeah. and um, our, our, um, this is just our taster, but next session um, we're going to go into more of some of the outcomes that we've seen that have happened through Young Ocean Explorers in different schools around the country. So thanks so much for having us. Thank you. Mm -hmm.